Down for Sound, JP8, beautiful blue anodized color. Let's check out the dyno sheet. Man, hold on. We got something in the way. Let's move this out of the way so you guys can see. What's up guys, Derek here. I want to let you know real quick, I have a second channel called Willie Willison. I'm going to do a lot of extra videos there, shorter videos, less edited. Please check it out in the video description. This review is marked sponsored because the product was given to me as well as I'm an affiliate for Down For Sound Shop. However, with that said, I will do my best to provide an honest review. Thank you so much. What's up guys, Derek here from Willison Audio Labs. Today we're going to look at a new Down For Sound amp, the JP8. The beautiful blue amplifier you see here for listed for $199. That is an introductory price, so you may want to jump on that and go ahead and get one after you watch this video, of course. So we got one of them in. Let's unbox it, take a closer look, and see what's in the box. First off, the beautiful blue anodized amplifier. Of course, you get the manual. Read me first or not, but still, read me first. Let's check it out, see what the specifications say. Strappable, stable to 1 ohm mono, high speed MOSFET power supply, variable low pass, subsonic, variable bass boost, four way protection circuit, and of course the best bass knob in the industry. Now let's check out the specs for the power output 490 watts at 4 ohms, 650 at 2 ohms, 850 at 1 ohm, all 14.4. We'll talk about 12 volt tests later. We'll do a separate video. It also comes with a Cat5e remote base cable. Let's talk about the base remote. All right, so the best base knob out there, in my opinion, the only thing that could make this better, well, actually two things that could make it better. One is if you could push it in and turn it on and off, if that acted like a remote, and if it was metal. I know I'm asking a lot because this thing is like loaded. It's got voltage, temperature, clipping, protection light, power. It's a really nice potentiometer, easy to turn. Has the RJ45 style connector so it's not going to pop out. So I really, really, really dig the base knob. But I've said that before so you guys know. Of course you get Alan's keys. He's handed over his keys to the blue amp just for you. You big dummy. And last but not least, <laughs> check out that beauty. This thing is strappable. Tiffany style RCAs, clip protect power, metal gain subsonic and bass boost. Subsonic is 10 hertz to 50 hertz. Input is 0.2 to 6 volts. Bass boost 0 to 9 dB. I'll have to check the manual to see what the frequency is. There's your remote connection there. Low pass filter 35 hertz to 250. You have it master or slave. So if you're hooking up two of these, your second amp is going to go RCA here to the other amp and then put that one in slave mode. You got your input on the opposite side. We have looks like four gauge for power ground uh, and remote in the middle. It looks like eight gauge. Then you have the dual speaker outputs. This is a mono block amp, but having dual outputs is helpful if you have a DVC subwoofer or multiple speakers. Now, the other cool thing about this is it has a plexi bottom. You're going to see the trees. You're going to see my ugly grill. But yeah, that is cool. Let me sit it down. I'll see if I can get a better angle. There you can see the fan on the bottom. Down for sound branded caps. There's a choke. There's a transformer. And JP8 version 1. Do not stir fry. Make sure you stay tuned until after the amp dyno test. We will go over the internals, talk more about the capacitors and some of the other parts. Now here's the exterior of this beautiful blue anodized amp. Just gorgeous. As far as dimensions, 11.8 inches long by 7.4 inches wide, millimeter equivalents there as well. For the height, 2.24 inches or 57 millimeters. 
Now let's get the good old Amp Dino fired up so we can test the amp. First off, smash me a thumbs up. Check the video description for links to Wilson Audio merch. It's greatly appreciated. Here's the JP-8 all wired up on the test bench. Beautiful blue as it is. You can see we have the four gauge to one alt adapters and they fit in the amp. That is awesome. Makes it easy for the test. We have eight gauge, a single run of speaker wire going to the dyno. We have the RCAs on this end. We have the low pass filter set to the highest, which is uh, 250 Hertz. We have matched the gain to the head unit as you're always supposed to do. The subsonic is turned all the way down. Bass boost is turned all the way down. Then what I want you to notice during the test, it might be hard to see, but right here behind the clamp meter, you can see the, the clip light there. And I have to cover up that blue because it is so bright coming off of there, off of the base meter, giving you the voltage and everything else. We've already got voltage here, so we don't need it in two places. But during the test, make sure you watch that and compare it with this one. In my experience, this is highly accurate with the dyno. They're right on match with each other. Let's try all the test from four ohms down to one ohm. See how this amp does. So stay tuned. Again, during all the tests, check out both of these lights here and kind of compare them. You'll notice that they're very similar. The amp rated at four ohms, 490 watts. Let's try it out on the dyno. First up, the certified run to 1% THD. Trying to keep it close to 14.4. It's rated 490, we get 511, so right there at it at 14.34 volts. Let's reset the dyno here for the uncertified test. You can watch the clip light here as I was pointing out. And it's counting up. Oh, keeps going. 540, whoa, keeps going. 550, 14.36 volts. Now we'll try the dynamic test, which sends a pulse tone into the amp at 40 hertz. Trying to keep it right around 14.4, as close as we can. 557 watts, there you go, 14.46. Now. As far as efficiency, we measured 81% at four ohms certified. Now let's try two ohms where the amplifier is rated 650 watts at 14.4 volts. Certified test is first. <laughs> Easily got that 892 at 14.48. That's incredible. All right, let's reset the dyno here for the uncertified test up to clipping. See if we can bust over that 900 watts, which is so far above the rated power. Oh yeah, look at that, it keeps counting. 957, 14.36, <laughs> it's rated 650. Come on guys, getting a little extra for your money here, no doubt. Dynamic, two ohms, 40 hertz. Ooh, are we gonna bust a thousand? So close, 996, 14.54. How about that efficiency at two ohms? 81%, that's good at two ohms. 892, 75 amps of current, nice. One ohm mono, this amp is rated 850 watts as you guys just saw. We got almost that pretty much at two ohms, but let's try certified at one ohm. And what? <laughs> 12.76, right at 14.4. That's really good power. Now let's try uncertified up to the clipping point. See how we do here. Keeps going, look at that. Over 1400, 14.44 at 14.28. That's like almost double the rated power. That's crazy. Now let's try dynamic. One ohm, 40 hertz. How you like that 14.4? 1,551 watts dynamically. How about efficiency? 74% at one ohm. That is not bad at all. 
So what about the overall results here? I would say it's underrated and it's a beauty. <laughs> Here's a dyno sheet. You guys may notice there's some stuff marked out on the right there that you can't see. I'm going to do a follow-up video where I'm going to do some lower ohm tests as well as 12 volt tests at the 4, 2, and 1 ohm so we can see what this amp does at those loads. Now next up, we're going to hook it up to the subwoofers and we're going to try it out and find out. Do it, bump, dough. Let's find out. for test. So any of the air turbulence noise you just heard was actually coming out of the port. It was not one of the speakers. So next up, let's check out what's inside. Of course, when you flip this amplifier over, it has that acrylic panel on the bottom with the fan attached. So I took off the six screws on the bottom and I had to unplug the fan here. But you'll first thing you'll notice is how thick this acrylic panel is. It's not thin. It's not going to flex. It's really nice. And also it has a brushless fan. So... It's not going to make any weird noise like some of the other amps that have fans. But here's a flyover of the guts. We'll check out the caps. 100 volt, 2200 microfarad. They're 105 degrees Celsius, which are good. The filter caps, 25 volts, 2200 microfarads. I believe those are 105 degrees Celsius as well. Just overall, very, very nice looking amp. Now let's talk about the stuff we like. Obviously, the anodized blue finish is gorgeous the amp is underrated so you get more than you pay for the four gauge to 10 adapters fit fine tiffany rca's remote base with the clip and the voltage it's linkable so you can hook up multiples of these has a variable subsonic filter as well as metal potentiometers and i couldn't fit all the good stuff on one page stable to half an ohm we'll find out in a future test we love the plexi bottom and of course that brushless fan i already talked about nice and quiet as far as things that could be better, the bass boost frequency is fixed at 45 hertz. It'd be nice if that was variable. Reliability, of course, this is a new brand, is unknown. 12 dB per octave crossovers, it'd be nice to have 18 or 24. And the blue LEDs on the remote light are kind of bright. So other than that, again, it was hard for me to come up with things to complain about about this amp. It's gorgeous, it performs, um, just awesome. I mean, these guys have done a great job right off the bat. This is only the second amp in the series. There's more coming. Can't wait to see those. Thanks as always for watching my videos. I appreciate it. Make sure you leave me a thumbs up and wait around and see what's coming on after the credits. Big D, I'm out of here. Thanks for hanging around here for after the credits. You can see here we have the JP234, the JP8 as well as the JP23 here. Just want to let you know on the JP8, I am going to do some extended ohm testing as well as some 12 volt testing in a separate video, but I am going to give you a little teaser here with a 0.8 ohm test certified coming up. All right, guys, the down for sound JP8, the beautiful blue amp. It's not rated anywhere under one ohm and my chair keeps squeaking. Sorry about that, but uh, we're going to try it. Certified, uncertified and dynamic. Let's try certified first. 
40 hertz. Point eight. All right, 1325 at 14.32. Don't forget guys, more videos coming. Check the video description for all the links if you wanna buy this. If you wanna support me, I greatly appreciate it. Until next time, Big D working on more tests.